Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video discussion. Uh, showing my collection of a certain actor, this time of Keanu Reeves. Now, Keanu Reeves has always been one of those guys that I've really enjoyed ever since I first saw him. And this is a guy I know gets a lot of crap for his acting, for being a non-actor, for can't acting at all. I've always enjoyed him. He's a guy who I'm always rooting for. He seems like a genuinely nice guy and very decent human being. And, I mean, what, there was that footage that someone was shooting without him knowing on a subway. And he gives a woman his seat. And, I don't know why the fuck people are shooting him for that. Well, because he's a celebrity, but, god damn, man. But anyway, really wanted to talk about his work. So, first off, the Bill and Ted collection. I believe I did a review for this when I reviewed the... I know I reviewed the Bill and Ted movies. Those reviews are up. I enjoy both Bill and Ted films. I know this talk of a part three. Who knows if it will ever happen. For what I understand, the studio would rather have the roles recast with younger folks instead of doing a part three. So, while Keanu and... Alex Winter do want to do a part three, and there's a script, but the studio's like, eh, we don't know. But do enjoy the Bill and Ted films, and this was a great set by Shaw Factory. I'll give them credit for it. There's the first movie and the second movie. And a three-disc set. The first one, the second one, and the special features. Good special features. You have really in-depth documentaries, including both Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves talk about the film. Each one also has a commentary. Pretty interesting one with Alex Winter and who's the other guy? I forget who the other guy was. I think it was the producer. But yeah, really enjoy these. It's too bad they couldn't find all the you know the deleted scenes for the second film. That would have been fantastic, but still a lot of good features yeah, for two really solid movies. Next up, I picked this up because I had good things about it. It was only like a couple bucks. Freet, Alex Winter, stars and directs this movie. You also have Randy Quaid, William Sadler, Megan Ward, Mr. T, the voice of Bobcat Goldthwait, uh, Britt Shields, and Keanu Reeves is in this. I don't think he took credit though, but he is in this. This is an Anchor Bay DVD, so the fact it was only a couple bucks was worth it. Nice packaging. Take it off. Pretty weird movie where they get involved in this freak show where this bad scientist turns people into these, these weird things. I wouldn't say I love the movie, but it definitely has a quirky sense of humor to it. Some really nice uh, effects. And quite a few features, because it is a two-disc set, so it was worth a couple bucks. And Keanu Reeves is this character here, all covered in makeup and hair. He's that character. And yes, Mr. T is in this movie. Let me see if I can find him on here. Uh, well, there you go, right there. But yeah, you have a commentary with Alex Winter and Tom Stern, conversation with writer Tim Burns, a trailer, deleted scenes. Full-length rehearsal of the film with scenes and dialogue cut from the final film. Early script readings of selected scenes. Behind-the-scenes video showing the construction of the sets. Uh, witness Alice Winter's makeup transformation because he turns into this character here. And then some short films that Alex Winter and Tom Stern did, so... Definitely has quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the movie, but 
it's okay. It has some pretty quirky humor and nice makeup effects. <coughs> now, I mentioned this film when I did my uh, collection on Dolph Lundgren. I forgot I had a Blu-ray of it, too. Johnny Mnemonic. I haven't uploaded that video yet, so if someone mentions, Hey, you got a Blu-ray. Yep. I remember now. <laughs> This was a gift that someone sent to me. I know. I remember now that I see this. And this is a film that's a flawed film. I don't hate the film, but it, it is a flawed flick. Uh, Sally Dolph Lundgren is wasted in a pretty much very sh tiny role. Pretty much just killed by a dolphin. Just killed by Flipper. You know, Flipper killed Dolph Lundgren. Pretty much. If you watch the film, you won't. You'll know I'm not fucking around with that. <laughs> This is a film, one of my favorites. I swear I thought I had the Blu-ray of this, but I was wrong. I just had the DVD of Speed. So I gotta get the Blu-ray of this sometime. I love this movie. I swore I had the Blu-ray of this, but I guess I thought, eh, you know, there's no features on the Blu-ray, but I definitely want to pick it up to see what it looks like in HD. But this is the Five Star Collection, which has Quite a few features from back in the day. It has a pretty fun commentary with streamer Graham Yost and producer Mark Gordon. You have five extended scenes, on location featurette, stunts featurette, like a lot of features from back in the day, HBO special, Billy Idol music video, trailer and TV spots. So it'd be nice if there was a new special edition with new interviews with Jeff Daniels, Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock. Jan de Bond, the director, but this is a classic film. Speed is an absolute classic. Again, I definitely want to pick up the Blu-ray of this sometime. Then, a step down, especially from films like Speed, Chain Reaction, it's an okay flick. It's from Andrew Davis, who had directed The Fugitive before this. And it has fugitive elements. I mean, how Keanu Reeves does become a fugitive. He's a student. He's doing this scientific experiment with a group of people. These bad guys come in, kill one of his friends, create this big explosion. A lot of the team is killed. Him and Rachel Wise from the first two Mummy films. They're the prime suspects. They get chased around a lot. Morgan Freeman's kind of their friend, kind of not. Fred Ward, I wish he, he was utilized better. Love Fred Ward as an actor from Remo Williams, Tremors 1 and 2. He's in this as sort of the Tom Lee Jones character from The Fugitive, but he's not in the film that much. I wish he was... And he doesn't seem that essential to the plot when you really think about it. You have music by Jerry Goldsmith, you have Kevin Dunn, Brian Cox, yeah, Andrew Davis directed it. He also did Above the Law, Code of Silence, Collateral Damage with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But this is an alright film. I don't hate the film. It's, it's alright, Chain Reaction. I've seen much worse movies. This is a really good one. Street Kings, another one I like to pick up on Blu-ray sometime. Uh, I would say David Ayer, he did a really good job with this. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker, Hugh Laurie, Chris Evans. Really nice to see Keanu Reeves in this kind of role. As a cop who, he's not cookie cutter, he's not totally innocent. When evidence implicates him in the murder of a fellow officer, and that fellow officer is actually, I think, Terry Crews. The violence around him explodes as he realizes his own life is in danger as he can now trust no one. But yeah, great cast. Um, David Ayer did a really good job with this. And definitely one of Keanu's more underrated roles. Really nice street cues. Of course, I talked about these when I reviewed these films like a month ago, but the Matrix films. This is the Blu-ray set I got from a very nice guy named Orc. Very cool to see these in HD. And then 
the Matrix, the first one, and then this is the box set I have of the DVDs. One more can I say, I already reviewed these films, I talked in depth about them, just feel free to check out my reviews. I love the Matrix Trilogy, if you want to know why, again, just feel free to watch those reviews. I'm a big fan of all three films. And yeah, this is the making of material, part of that as well. And well, Keanu Reeves is one of the, he has a brief voice appearance in one of these, so the Animatrix. Yeah, I already reviewed these, so I won't go too much into them. One of my favorites, Constantine, one of my favorite comic book movies. I know it's not based 100%, but I didn't read those comics. I love the movie. I love the action. I love Keanu in the role. Uh, I love how the story was told. I love the ending where he's going to heaven. He gives the middle finger to the devil. <clears throat> Peter Stormare made a... He was a perfect choice for the devil. You also have Chimon Hansua. You do have Shia LaBeouf in a small role, Tilda Swinton, uh, Rachel Wise, teaming up together after Chain Reaction. Goodbye, Francis Lawrence, who had done I Am Legend with Will Smith. Didn't read a lot of Hellblazer, so maybe it's not like the comics. I still love the movie. I think it's. I would say this is Keanu Reeves' most underrated film. This has got a bad rap and. A bad rep, it didn't. Bad rap and a bad rep. Rap and rap. It, it doesn't deserve either one. I love this movie. It's a favorite of mine. <clears throat> and of course, one more can I say about these movies that I haven't said in the past? John Wick. Baba Yaga, the booty man. Do you kill the fucking booty man? And John Wick 2. My favorite film of 2017. I got the 4K just because, I don't know, because it was like cheaper, really enough, and it has a Blu-ray on it, and I'm like, well, well, no, it was the same price, but I'm like, oh, this has a black case instead of a blue case. It's like the same price, I'm like, oh well, it still has the Blu-ray in it, so there you go. But love the John Wood films. And I almost forgot about these. The Replacements. Entertaining comedy from Howard Deutsch, the same guy who did The Great Outdoors. Outdoors. Cast includes Orlando Jones, John Favreau, Gene Hackman as the coach. Love Gene Hackman. Big fan of his. I thought this was a very entertaining comedy. R-rated? No, it's PG-13. I think the originally it was supposed to be an R-rated comedy, but then they changed it to more of a little bit more of a family-friendly comedy. But yeah, I think this is a fun football comedy. It's a fun movie. I like Necessary Roughness, but I would say this is a bit of a better version of Necessary Roughness with Scott Bakula. If anyone even knows what that movie is, but. I like that movie, but I would say this is a bit better. Keanu Reeves did a good job as a, the quarterback of this team. The title pretty much tells you what the movie's about. And again, always nice to see Gene Hackman. I'm a big fan of his. Sad that he retired. The Devil's Advocate? Decent flick. Pretty long, though. It's like 2 hours and 20-some minutes. It's a bit too long. But Al Pacino is the devil. That's perfect casting. He's great in this. I thought Keanu did fine. Go up against Al Pacino. You also have Charlie Theron, Craig T. Nelson. But yeah, just a, a bit too long, so it hurts the pacing. But yeah, nice to see Keanu and Al Pacino together in the movie. And Al Pacino, again, as the devil. That's, that's perfect casting. That, um, he's, 
He's a lot of fun in the role. Yeah. The Devil's Advocate. The newest attorney of the world's most powerful law firm has never lost a case, but he's about to lose his soul. And this is a film that should be better, but has a lot of problems. The Watcher. I know there's a bit of story with Tiana Reeves where I think he said yes, then he tried to back out, but that he was only supposed to be like a bit role or it was supposed to be like hidden. But then in all the trailers, Keanu Reeves, and even here, boom, Keanu Reeves. Uh, where the hell is it? Right there. I mean, his face is playing right there on the back. And so he got pissed off about it. I know this is one of the films he does not like, and I can see why. And it's disappointing because you got James Spader as the good guy. I love James Spader. Nice to see him in this kind of role, hunting down serial killers. And Keanu Reeves to play something a bit different against type, but it just didn't click together. I don't know what the hell this Joe Charbanic has done. Probably not much, but I think with a different director, it would have been a lot better. Does it help the yeah, like what fucking four producers on this movie? Yeah, I don't, just things didn't click together in this film. The Watcher. Although Richard Roper apparently liked it. Fucking surprising. But I remember I could watch this for Jane Spader, and, but I uh, don't know. Missed opportunity. But yeah, that's my Keanu Reeves uh, collection. I know there's quite a few of his I don't have, like The Day There It Stood Still, but I remember not liking that film, but maybe picked it up one day for the collection. I thought I had a scanner darkly, but I can't find the movie. I could have sworn I had it though. Just could not find the film. Well, I thought I had speed on Blu-ray as well, but I couldn't find that either, so. There you go. Bram Stoker's Dracula, yeah, I know. I haven't seen that film forever. It's another one I don't have. One day I like to pick them up. One day. Oh, there is one I forgot to show called Exposed. I do have. I didn't care for the film, though. It's a pretty boring film. It seems like Keanu didn't even feel like he was really the star of the movie. Uh, point, bla point Break. Like I mentioned, my Patrick Swayze collection. I guess I don't, I don't have that film either. I thought I did. I don't know. I'm losing my mind, I guess, but... Keanu Reeves, I'm not a big fan of Point Break. I know, I mentioned this when I did the Patrick Swayze collection, so feel free to watch that if you want to hear more. But I think I have a review rant of that Point Break up, just not for me. But he's done a lot of good stuff I enjoy. I love the John Wood films, love the Matrix films, I love the film Speed, and the Bill and Ted movies, Constantine, uh, Street Kings. Um, I saw Knock Knock a long time ago. It was a piece of shit. But yeah, my favorite Keanu Reeves films. I know Speed, John Wick 1 and 2, Constantine, they'd be in my top five. I'm not sure what would be number one, but I know those would be in my top five. And I guess I would put you know, the Matrix films, of course. I'm not sure what order though, but and Street Kings is definitely one of his most underrated along with Constantine. But anyway, Keanu Reeves, big fan of him. Always enjoyed him as an actor. I'll definitely be curious. I know he's doing a film called Replicas. Big curious about that. And we'll see what happens next. Sadly, I heard he's working with director Olivia Megaton. Piece of shit. Director did tra Transporter 3 and Taken 2 and 3. With Keanu. Run away from him. Get the fuck away as far as you can from this guy because he can't direct for shit. Please, Keanu. Run. Run.
for your life and your career. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.